Hello everybody and welcome to Retro Ratchet. Today's video is going to be about the Audi A4. So we're going to get it cleaned up. And if you refer back to my previous video when I first spotted this in the auction house, I'm sure I said something along the lines of, this will polish up mint. Well, today you're going to find out. So we're going to decontaminate the car, wash it, get all the dirt and grime off it, and see uh, if true to my word, I can actually make this car mint. Right, let's take a wee walk around this A4, see what it looks like after the clay baron. Well, I haven't cleaned anything off, so that's it. In the true light of day. I'll try and get a wee close up there. Yeah, so, so tons and tons of swirls, as you would imagine, off a car that hasn't been detailed. So I think we'll have our, our work cut out here, but it'll just be all the more impressive when it's done. There's a front view. I mean, it's hard to tell just because all the um, the lubricant from the clay, clay bar is still on the um, on the bodywork. But there you go. You kind of get an idea there how bad the swirls are. But it's a lovely colour, and I think it's going to come up a treat once it's done. Right. So we're now on day two of the Audi A4 detailing video. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this side. So yesterday, just as a very brief recap, that was decontamination. So wash it, degreased it. Um, I used a fallout remover on it as well to, to try and get rid of any iron filings and I've done a clay bar on it. So it does look a wee bit worse for wear now, but you'll see once this is polished, it's going to come up mint. So the product I'm using is this Freckler G360. Uh, it's meant to be quite an aggressive compound. It states uh, it's maybe an equivalent to a 3,000 uh, grit disc. So we'll see what we get on with that. And I just use flexi pads. Uh, just, these are just a microfiber cutting pad on this DAS 6. So yeah, this is an old thing. This is about 10 years old, but it's proved to be really reliable. Um, and it does a decent job as well. So let's see how we get on. Right, day three of detailing the Audi A4. We're on this one now, Evo One Fine Cut from AutoSmart. So we're just giving it a final polish now and then we'll do an application of wax to protect it.
Right, final stage. Colonite insulator wax I found this to be a really decent product in the past, so we'll get this fired on and then that'll be it done. Right, let's have a go at getting these wheels cleaned up. I'm using smart wheels for this, uh, so I'll spray that all on, let it dwell, and then see how much grime comes off. Right, last few finishing touches on the Audi exterior detailing. I'm going to put a second coat of this colonite wax on. We've got some filthy protectant for the plastics, which I forgot yesterday. We've got some poor boys um, wheel sealant, seal those wheels, uh, and we've got some tire gel, and we've got some window cleaner, and then that will hopefully complete the transformation. Right, let's have a go of this, um, this wheel sealant. It's been a while since I've actually used this one, but it's just like any um, wax or protectant. Apply it and then let it dry to haze and then buff it off. And hopefully it'll be a bit resilient about, um, hopefully it'll help with uh, brake dust settling on wheels and sticking, making them a little easier to clean. That's the plan anyway. No finesse to how I'm doing this, I'm just uh, lathering it on. I think something's better than nothing. Those uh, centre trims, they're a wee bit corro corroded, but nothing much we can do about them. But we'll let that haze off and then, haze off, is that really a word? Um, haze off, is that really a phrase? Well, we'll come back to it when it's dried a wee bit. <laughs> Here we have my apprentice putting some wheel sealant on and making a very good job of it as well, aren't you? Yeah. That is perfect. They're going to be lovely when they're done. I feel okay. Ready? Yeah. Right, second coat of wax. Let's get this done. I'll fly through this. First application I've done I think, in all honesty, I probably put on a little bit too thick and still it was a wee bit oily and greasy when I was taking it off. So this one here, I'm just putting on as thin as I can uh, without the sponge going dry and see uh, if that helps. But yeah, like I said, when I was buffing another one off, I hadn't really hazed that well. It just it looked like I was more um, trying to polish it and apply it than anything else. Yeah, you can see I've actually probably still put on a wee bit too much on that back wing. We'll try it and spread it across there. So professional detailers, look away. <laughs> DIY detailers, stay tuned. <laughs> With this stuff, I try to just apply it in straight lines as well. I'll try and reduce the amount of scratches that you put back into the, into the paintwork or swirls, should I say. Yeah, that's quite a good bit less than coat number one. Tiny wee bit more should do us. There we go. I'll let that 
dry weave it and then we'll buff that off. Now it's gone hazy, we'll get this cleaned off. I haven't bothered physically polishing the wheels as such. They were just cleaned up as you've seen on the earlier clips to within an inch of their life. But um, considering I don't think these have been refurbed in a very, very long time, I think they look spectacularly good. No curb marks either. So yeah, very pleased with these. It was just some elbow grease to get them into this condition that they're in. Let's do a wee close up there. Yeah, look at that. That's not too shabby, is it? It is just those centre trims that let them down, but you know, I can live with that. So job well done on those. No. Ready? Right, let's get this final coat of wax buffed off. I'll let you guys see exactly how well it's turned out. I'm very happy with that. I took loads of pictures after the uh, after the first coat yesterday, but uh, yeah, really nice job. I have to say, I wouldn't fancy doing this for a living. My back aches. <laughs> <laughs> so hats off to, to any professional detailers who do this kind of thing. You're probably a lot more efficient than I am at doing this, but uh, it's really hard graft, to be fair. It would have been even harder if I didn't have it up on the lift today as well. That has made life a whole lot easier. It's a lot more quick, a lot faster. There we go. Right. Let's have a wee uh, close up. It's hard to make out, you know, in this lighting, but we'll take it outside and we'll do a wee walk around. Right, some Maguire's tyre gel. Let's get this on. I know some people uh, don't like it, but I kind of like that glossy look on tyres. It'll probably just splatter off all over the wings, but all the same, I'll get some nice pictures in the meantime <laughs> before I drive it. anyone can recommend another product, stick in the comments. I'd be happy to try something new. There we have it. What do you think? It looks all right. Yeah, I it looks all right. That's in done. Right, we're going to try this 303 protectant. It'll be interesting to see how long it lasts with the car being left outside. I think you can spray it on, but I don't actually have a spray attachment for it. So all we'll just do is just wipe it on and then remove any excess. And yeah, like I said, it'll be interesting to see how long it lasts. But you can see it's changing the colour quite well. It was that faded grey? I mean, they weren't too bad. They haven't turned a light grey-white yet. But 
Um, yeah, that's just darkening them off really nicely. So take that excess off. There we go. Right, we're as well doing round the round the doors and windows as well, I think. Right, here we go. Here is the finished article. And what a job. I mean, it has totally transformed the car, I think. Check that out. Looks like a two-year-old car, doesn't it? 